Hi there, welcome to this video. This is Tina from TinaHills.com and today I'm speaking to you about uh, Aries Ascendant, mm -hmm. Aries Moon and Pisces Sun. So what can I say? Aries and Pisces are the first and the last signs of the zodiac and they couldn't be more different, okay? They are very divergent, um, disparate energies. And the moon does not do well in Aries and the sun does not do well in Pisces. So, there, okay? Now, um, if you have... So, you have your moon in Aries, your ascendant in Aries, and your sun in Pisces. So, what is the ascendant? The ascendant is the degree which is rising on the eastern side of the horizon at the moment of your birth. Okay? And the rising sign is, of course, the sign that is on uh, the eastern side of the horizon. The ascendant is the degree in that sign. So, for instance, your ascendant is 10 degrees of Aries. And your rising sign is Aries. Okay? Now, uh, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's that moment when the soul makes uh, its first point of contact with the 3D world, okay? And Aries is all about initiation of new ideas, okay? The Ascendant uh, is about your physical appearance. It's about how people perceive you. It's a mask that you wear. According to Jungian scholar Frida Fordham, we all wear masks that are personas. It's how the world perceives us. That's our ascendant sign, okay? With an Aries ascendant, you look ruddy, your face, complexion, you can blush, you can get red, you can, you know, if you contour, you can put a lot of blusher. You like, you like playing with red, with Aries, okay? And it's a color that works for you, so why not? Uh, you have a very pronounced forehead, like the archetype of the ram, which is your uh, leaf. You also have prominent piercing eyes, high cheekbones, Roman nose. Not everybody, but you get the gist right. It's it's something I've seen. Uh, narrow mouth, narrow chin, uh, a very distinctive look. Okay, but very dry. Uh, it, it can lack empathy and compassion. Okay, so uh, Mars is all about being warlike. So you can come across as very uh, aggressive, very, uh, a huge go-getter. You can start very many things but may not be able to complete them with your Aries moon. So that's something you got to work out, right? And uh, completion is a very big part of this to understand completion because your sun is, is screaming for completion. It's in Pisces, the last sign of the zodiac, the sign that completes everything. Now, um... If you have some hard aspects to do with your ascendant lord or in, um, another such uh, iffy stuff in your natal chart, then you can have issues with your eyesight or issues with migraine or anxiety disorders. Virgo is after all your sixth house, so digestive, food-related issues and uh, nervous anxiety. So that's something to you. You're very impatient with your Aries moon, Aries ascendant. Anger, violence, road rage, freak accidents. You need to protect your head at all times. You can have ear infections. Your teeth can be very sensitive. Gums. Um, you can wear glasses. A lot of Aries people like to wear their hair short or, or they just simply, you know, chop it off because the hair can be very fragile. So much fire. And Aries rules the head, you know. So uh, they can lose hair that way. Uh, they, they, there's a lot of masculinity in this sign because it is the most yang sign is ruled by Mars, you know, which is the archetype of the male. So even women of Aries, Moon, Aries, Ascendant can have a masculine body type, okay? And uh, they they can be more laden with testosterone, okay? They can just be more of the, the tomboy than usual. And... Um, they love to uh, make eye contact, makes them, you know, they, they want to suss you out with eye contact. They raise their eyebrows a lot, Aries, Moon and Ascendant people. And uh, they, they can talk to you with their just 
gestures, you know, they're very good at that, their eye gestures. So uh, the moon is about connecting, it's about emoting, it's about feeling, it's about your mother, it's about your everyday uh, patterns. So the moon is not happy in Aries because Aries is about initiating new things. The moon is about connecting. So Aries is the baby of the zodiac. It just wants to see new things in it. Uh, you know, bring in new paradigms for us to experience, but it, it doesn't care about connecting or emoting. So it's not a good position for the moon. Uh, you can have a problematic uh, relationship with your mother. You could have moved around a lot in your childhood. Your childhood may have been erratic. Parents may be quarreling. Okay. Also, uh, with uh, the sun is not happy in Pisces is not a very good placement for the sun because the sun uh, is is about shining. Now Pisces is, is um, the last sign of the zodiac, oftentimes called the dumping ground of the zodiac, okay, where all the, the, the unused energies of every single sign, they are dumped in Pisces. So Pisces is probably one of the most complex so signs out there and it's a sign of the Christ, of Christos, of compassion ruled by um, Neptune in esoteric, in esoteric astrology and by Pluto in esoteric, astro es uh, esoteric astrology, okay? So Pisces is also a sign of uh, death. There are three signs of death, okay? Uh, Aries, Scorpio and Pisces. So you see how they are interconnected because Aries and um, Scorpio share Mars, okay? They're both ruled by Mars. And then Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto and Pisces is though ruled by Neptune in exoteric astrology, its esoteric ruler is Pluto, its sole ruler is Pluto. So you see how these are about transformations, death and rebirth and, and resurrection. Okay, the resurrection of the Christ. It's 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 a deep symbol really. So um with your son and, and the son is about your father so your father may not have been present for you in your 12th house son you know it may not may have died may have had uh, lost lost uh, his power in your life in some way okay this can happen with the sun in pisces you you may find conflict with your um, goals because you're not very ambitious. Pisces people, they drift off into parallel worlds and parallel dimensions and the sun is is not about uh, parallel worlds. It's about here and now. It's about the solar system. It's about uh, uh, giving the, uh, a source of life to the solar system. Okay, But Pisces in its complexity uh, wants to traverse multiple dimensions. It's a sign of um, ancestors, past lives. So it's it's not an energy of this world. It's a point when the soul craves to return to source. So the sun being your worldly goals and ambitions, it's not easy for the sun to execute its life life's purpose. A twelfth house sun in Pisces, you know. So you have to work that much harder in trying to ground these energies. Uh, Pisces can be quite a psychic sponge and uh, the Aries moon can be quite selfish. So, you know, do you want to be selfish or do you want to go out there and dissolve all boundaries? Aries is, is me, me, so you're putting boundaries. Look at me. Pisces are ruled by Neptune is about dissolving boundaries. Let everything become a unitary consciousness. Whatever needs to die will die and then uh, will commence the next zodiacal cycle of rebirth, you know. So this is very uh, interesting position where you have both your planets in a difficult position, Moon and Aries, Sun and Pisces. But um, Pisces is about sacrificial love. So Sun and Pisces can be a martyr, can be a victim. So don't let that ideology seep in. Which I think you have a pretty good balance because you have your Aries moon. So I think you have a pretty good balance over there. Uh, ground yourself to the earth. Connect to the here and the now. And uh, feel your empathy. 
feel those feelings what your Aries moon refuses to feel you know allow them so that was a bit about Aries Ascendant, Aries Moon and Pisces Sun. I hope you like that video as much as I like making it for you. Now, support my work in any way. Like, comment, subscribe, share. See you soon. This is Tina from Tina Heroes saying bye.